Nebraska's national championship teams from the 1990s will be back in the spotlight next fall. ESPN Films is producing a 30 for 30 documentary on the Huskers' success and troubles off the field. Recently, I talked with the director of the film. How many tackles can one man... The 1995 Huskers have been called by many the greatest college football team of all time. The Huskers are now the subject of an upcoming ESPN 30 for 30 documentary film. The Emmy Award winning series highlights important people and events in sports history. The director, Eric Drath, recently visited the WOWT6 studios where he discussed the film. This is this is a much deeper story, and it's a, it's a human interest story too about you know what these guys went through, some of the things they did, and obviously you know how they pulled it together to win these championships. There was plenty of drama off the field for the Huskers during those championship years, with the injury that sidelined quarterback Tommy Frazier, plus the arrest and suspension of Heisman Trophy candidate Lawrence Phillips. This is not going to be an indictment in, of Nebraska or Nebraska football, and it's also not going to portray this like, you know, wonderful seasons of victories without, you know, the, you know, some of the things that happen off the field. Draft has interviewed several coaches, players, and media from those national championship years. I got to tell you, I mean, I've interviewed, including yourself, some unbelievable people that have remarkable stories and really put the whole time and period in perspective. But Christian Peter is fascinating. I mean, as a character, as a director making documentaries, when you find a character like that, uh, you really start to say, wow, I, I want to know more. And, you know, and there's that dichotomy of, of what I read about him and who he portrays himself or who he really is, what he did on the field. So he's certainly been probably the most dynamic, uh, interesting person to, uh, to kind of find a way to tell the story as well. Drath expects the film to run 77 minutes and premiere in the fall during the football season. It's bigger than one player, it's bigger than one incident, it's bigger than uh, all of the incidents. It's really a story of, uh, of, you know, of trouble, of story of greatness, of story of perseverance, and ultimately victory. And Eric and his film crew were back here in October when they honored the 1995 National Championship team at Memorial Stadium. And they don't have a title yet for the film. They said it's going to probably come while they're editing it and putting it all together. There's going to be a lot of viewers around here. They interviewed you too, didn't they? Yes, they did for a very long time. All right. <laughs> we'll see you on there. All right.